Hello everybody, Alex Elliott here and welcome back to a brand new video. A lot of you have been asking for this one. You saw a YouTube shorts on it for 30 seconds and you're asking, give me more of this. Today I'm talking about my number one trick with driver. Well, I say one, this one tip turns into three. Let's get to it. So it's Friday and that means a lot of us are probably getting ready for some weekend's golf. So get in those comments down below. Let's have a look how much practice you've all done this week and be truthfully honest on this. And if you are playing this weekend, where are you playing? Get in those comments down below. I'm actually hoping to get a game here at Motcham Hall. It would be, it would be nice actually, if what? If it's like this. Okay, so the first tip and the first trick, we've got our Sharpie and we've got our ball, is about how do we know if our club face is square at address? Think of this, a level of importance on having a square club face at address has got to be right up there. Because a lot of us are wanting to hit that straight away shot. A lot of us predominantly either have it open or closed and then we react in the golf swing, causes terrible bad habits. So let's start off with everything nice and neutral. I am a big, big believer in this. So again, you'd be doing this on your golf ball. We wouldn't be hitting a tennis ball. I don't know what the results would be if I hit a tennis ball, but. What I want you to do is, along where the logo is, I want you to draw a straight line. So imagine if you used a Pro-V, you'd have Pro-V along here. So if we just put Pro-V, we'd have Pro-V along here, or we'd have TaylorMade with the TP5, where you'd have pretty much what ball you are using. Use that straight line or use one of the line markers. So what I would do now is, if you follow me over here, I would place this golf ball down where I have the top line exactly on top of the golf ball. Now this is a great for two reasons. I mentioned one, the square club face, but it's also a line that is going to show you where your ball position is. So what I'd be looking for is here, when I put my club down to the ground, is can I get the top edge of my golf club and the top edge of that tennis ball or your golf ball with the line, can I get them matched up? I can clearly see if it's a little bit closed, I can clearly see if it's a little bit open. So this is a great checkpoint for one, ball position, and number two, making sure we've got a nice square club face at address. Don't fall into the trap of having it too closed or too open at address. Let's move on to number two. So Sharpie back out, the dog's tennis ball back in my hand. So what we're gonna do for this next one is we're gonna put two arrows that are going to point straight to target. Now. Again, if you're using a golf ball, you can use those simple little things where you almost like, I guess the best way I can describe it is like an egg holder where the golf ball sits on top and you draw in. But next up, we've got two arrows. Now, I like this feeling because two reasons again. So each of these is gonna have two reasons. Number one, alignment. I put this ball down now, signifying where I want that ball to start. And it's almost like where my runway is. If I was a plane, I'd be following these stripes and I'm trying to hit it down my runway. I think if we all look at ourselves and the most common areas of where we make bad swings, we get tied into where we go in, where we go in. So I put those lines on my ball, I would stand behind and I would place it down, pointing those arrows exactly where I want that ball to start. So that's point number one. We know where the center of the fairway is. Point number two, this is we can now build our stance around those lines. So I can now, if you come in here closer guys with me, put the ball club down, set my stance, and I know if I've got my feet, shoulders, hips running parallel to that line. I've got a peace of mind on alignment. I've got peace of mind on where the fairway is. And that a bonus, we could possibly count this as number three. If we're trying to hit that draw, can we swing out to the right for a right-hander across those arrows, or for a left-hander, it'll be out to the left. Ultimately, really trying to go, this is where we're aiming, I'm building my stance, and then it gives me some good direction of where I'm hitting to. So there are our first two points. Getting those comments so far, which one are we liking? Do you do these already? How do you mark your golf ball? We'd love to hear what you're doing. And if you are enjoying this content so far, don't forget, you cannot miss any of this daily content because it's simple, easy tips. And a lot of people have really improved their golf doing this. Just look at those comments. So if you are enjoying the tips, do make sure you subscribe. Let's now move on to the final one. And this is the thing that we're all trying to do. 
Can we hit up on that driver? We all love to hit up on the driver because we're going to hit it a smidgen further. So what I want you to do is, again, use that line of where if you've got a Pro V or you've got a tailor made Titleist, whatever ball you're actually gaming, draw that line on, and this should basically signify top half, bottom half of the ball. So almost we're chopping it in two. If we were to slice it in two, this would signify the top and the bottom, okay? What we're trying to get that feeling for, if I grab my driver here, is can we get that feeling of we're hitting up on this. Now, essentially that's not gonna be the case. We're gonna be still hitting it probably roughly around here for most people. But can we get that feeling of staying in posture and hitting up the bottom half, not smashing onto the top half? I think this is a really nice tip for us to visualize not hitting too down on it. And we all get in that bad habit of doing that. So again, that golf ball would go down on the ground. And all we would simply do is is stand up here, make sure we've got that good address position, really trying to feel we're nice and athletic, and make those swings, really trying to feel we're hitting up under that equator of the golf ball. Again, I'm gonna stress, these are all feelings I want you to take to the range, or take, actually, better than that, take them out to the golf course and give them a try. So what I would do is, I would grab three old golf balls that are good enough to play practice rounds with when you play with your mates. Label them all up differently with those three ones. One with the line on at the start, one with the arrows on, and again one with the line on with top and bottom. Then we can take these out, try them on different driving holes and see which one works for you. So you get to Saturday next week and you are honed in with this driver. You hit more fairways, you hit it a little bit longer, what more do we want? Okay, the final thing for me to do is, proofs in the pudding, isn't it? Hit this one away. So hopefully you enjoyed those nice, simple three hacks that you can use to hit more fairways and hit it that little bit longer. Don't forget to have a fantastic rest of your Friday and I'll join you tomorrow for some more short game tips at 3.30. See you then.